everyone, Retro Gamer Girl here. Today, I'm really excited to show you guys a brand new store that's opened up here in Brisbane, Australia. The store's located in Greenslopes and it's owned by Eddie. The store is actually called Eddie's Retro Video Games and I'm really excited to be able to take you guys through this awesome shop. So stay tuned for this video. There's no denying what we want There's no denying what we want Playing games, no There's no denying what we want There's no denying what we want Playing games, no There's no denying what we want really exciting so far everyone there's some great games here some pretty rare ones now obviously a few aren't for sale which is fine probably out of my price bracket anyway but really excited to show you guys uh, some rare repel stuff so as an example um, there's cool world um, that one is quite a rare game to come across don't believe Eddie has that one for sale. And then also Mega Man X2 and X3. Uh, those games are super, super hard to come by here in Australia and especially boxed. So yeah, would love to get my hands on a complete set of PAL, but I do have Rockman, which is pretty exciting. Um, I've spotted over the back there, Battletoads um, and Double Dragon. That is one game that I've really been looking for, but um, again, it's probably going to be out of my price range. Uh, there is some box games here. I don't even really after, but I don't know yet. Hogan's <laughs> Alley and Wild Gunman. Look at those awesome NES titles. I love anything with the Zephyr. Is that that Trojan game that I seen the other day? I think there's a game there that I actually didn't buy when I was at Cashies the other day, but this one's boxed for 35, so I think I might actually grab that. Bobby, Matty Bomb Jack, Kig Icarus, and then some carts down here. As most of you know, I don't really grab carts anymore. I do prefer to get them in bulk, so, but I can be tempted by a good deal on a cart, that's for sure. 
But uh, I'm not sure if there's anything there really. Um, maybe the Flintstones, I don't have that game. I haven't played it before. So, but yeah, I'll definitely have a look at that. Could I grab one of the games out, Eddie, if that's okay? Um, actually two. Um, could I have a look at Mickey Mania? And um, is it Trojan at the back there? Yep, and then the NES one down the bottom behind Adam's family. Forty dollars for Mickey Mania. That's pretty good. Yeah, this this is the one I was gonna maybe get the other day. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Or Mickey Mania. I think I may have this Japanese version. Not sure. I might I might leave these. Yep. And then decide. I think that's two good pickups there. Um and consoles. I actually kind of need the PAL version of the N64, just the plain one, but I think I'm gonna hang off getting one of those just yet. The Game Boy section. The hubby always asks me if I actually have this Little Mermaid game and I don't and I'm the biggest fan. I don't even think I have the Lion King on Game Boy. It's one of my favourite games but I haven't played that version of the game before. Heaps of carts. anything there that I'm really after but uh, what did grab my eye then is this nice red wheat it's really nice box 109 on this one what do you guys think I have to think about it I don't really need another Wii but it is nice <laughs> yeah, you solid? Ps4 from 10. Don't need any Ps4 games. But PS2. And PS1. Anthology, Resident Evil 2, point blank, one of my favourites, Spawn, The Eternal, and the Resident Evil. What else have we got here? Grievous, yeah. There's a Harvest Moon. 25. I don't think that's actually a bad price on that. Not something I collect though, but. I think I'm really looking for here. Castlevania would be good though. And I'm really interested in this game. The Zombie Hunters. I'd have to have a look at what it is, but if you guys know what it is, let me know. Let's have a look. Through here, another Master System 2. Ooh. Shame it's got a big tear down at uh, the middle of it, but always nice to see a Mega CD 2. But priced accordingly, $2.59 for that. Probably a pretty good price, actually. Some more boxed games. Mm. Night Trap, $1.89. Yeah. 
There's some games in here um, that are really cool. So they're actually exclusives to Australia. So there's HSV Adventure Racing. Um, it was actually Beetle Racing, but over here they uh, changed the game to have our Holden Commodore, which is obviously the HSV part of it. So let's see there. Uh, and also, something that I've just spotted is Agro. Agro Saw. Uh, that game I only have the cartridge for. That box is really clean. It looks near new. That is so, so, so cool. And uh, Paper Mario and Kirby Crystal Shards. They are ones that are really, really um, desirable and wanted here, but they are super, super expensive. Oh, and also, that. Bubble Bubble Part 2. I don't even think I've seen it before. All right, let's have a look through some of the games now. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Fighters. Anything sounds possibly like a platformer. I'm gonna check out. That looks pretty cool. I like the animation on that. Oh, sweet. I don't. I have to double check that I actually do or don't have it though. I can't remember all of the games without double checking them. Hmm. I don't think I've seen this before. Nice. I might come back to that. I'm getting close to the PS1. As wanted, I definitely don't have this game. Hmm. Interesting. You guys are going to have to let me know if I've skipped any hidden gems here. So these are the ones I've put aside so far. So Mickey Mania, I have to double check if I have the Japanese copy and Trojan. Um, not sure. That caught my eye the other day um, in my last video, so I'm sort of keen on a boxed NES game for thirty-five dollars. Yeah, they're hard to come by. Then uh, Retro Gamer Guy has put this aside. Uh, this is the Extreme Games sports one, but they are super fun. I think they're like the only sports games that are really, really, really fun <laughs> that we both really like. So. I don't know if anyone's played this, but I love this game. It's one of my all-time favorites. I'd love to finish it again. Um, Area 51 is also another game I really like. You guys know that. I've probably mentioned it a million times in some of my older videos. But let's have a look. Have a look, have a look. Some of these I have. It's a game, um, I believe, the PSX Collector has talked about recently. There's two of those. Um, they've got the yellow dot, and the yellow dot is 25. The one's red. Oh, that's the different, that's the variant. There we go. If you guys haven't checked out um, the PSX Collector's channel, please do. Simon's a great guy. I think he'd really enjoy coming to Brisbane and also having a look at this store. Look how many PS1 games there are. So cool. Definitely consider getting this um, on recommendation from uh, his channel. So yeah, I'd probably think about that. Mm. What else?
South Park, Spice Girls, sort of filler ones for, for me really. Um, it's a very clean copy of Worms World Party but I do have that. Take it in the, um, the box, that's pretty cool. Cards. Some NTSC ones. I unfortunately don't have a way to play them. I don't have an American um, SNES. It's probably the only version of the SNES I don't own. Um, one day I'll grab one for sure. Hopefully when I get to visit um, the USA I'd really love to um, come home with a uh, boxed console for sure. I do kind of prefer the um, colour combination of the PAL and Japanese one but honey uh, but yeah I definitely would get one carts 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 oh Terminator Toy Story you guys know I'm not so keen on carts but you never know there might be one here I want Come back around to the opposite side so it makes it a little bit easier on me. Xbox 360. Still new to me. Um, I actually grabbed this game on PS3 and looking forward to playing it. I still haven't played it yet. It's one I really, really need to get into because I really like to play. <laughs> I'm also still looking for. Uh, Conkers on the Xbox, but it's really hard to find. This one I'm still on a search for. PS3, I've already got enough PS3 guys, so I'll just give you guys a scan over it. Here's some Wii. We're getting to the section that I'm really excited for. Sega! Some more new stuff. Mm. My guilty pleasure game. I love that game. Mm. I don't know if they've got. Well, I think we do have Metal Slug. Uh, 20 bucks is probably not a bad price on that. That's um, a good game. There's Metal Slug 4 there too. Or Kami? Absolutely beautiful art style. and parts here guys I already have um, Mega Man 3 that's what we got down here for $3 Trump Trump is Spy vs Spy Xanadu I'm gonna grab a truck $30 I haven't played Trump before. I don't know, but I like it, everybody. <laughs> so we've got Mario Brothers in the Terminator. Not bad prices, guys. Not bad prices. Is it some Mario's? DuckTales. I've recently picked that one up, actually, so I'm really excited. And Shadow Warriors. Cuts. So many cuts. Oh, there you go. So Eddie actually has the other one that I was talking about. So that's the Beagle Adventure Racing. Uh, but yeah, obviously the. HSV1 was exclusive to here in Australia, which is really cool. I uh, didn't spot the GameCube earlier either. Yeah. How cool. So many good games. Let's 
some Atari. And an Atari dinner. Some games. All right. So now we're in the Sega section. Um, pretty close to nearly. I think it's definitely over 80 games um, in the Sega Master System library. So I might be tempted today uh, to grab a couple that I'm, I don't have. Um, just not sure. I've always loved the um, art on that. But yeah, I'm not sure. I'd have to sit down and really go through what games I uh, have. I have the cartridge for this. How much is the yellow box again? 25. Oh. So tempting. Does it have its manual? No, it doesn't. Okay, I might have to let that one pass. Oh. I only have the cart for that one too. I don't know if I have Double Dragon. This is one game I really, really loved. Japanese version of Cut Shot. Donald Duck game. Oh, I think I have a lot of these games. It's bloody upsetting. One of my favourites, as you all know, um, Choplifter. Point blank two. Lollipop Chainsaw. That's such a good game. If you haven't played it, please play it. Oh, there's another Metal Gear Solid. Do look at it. Golden Sun. I have that game. Tales of Fantasia. Tempting, isn't it? Yes. Oh, no. Yeah, get the planet. Oh, get the one. Have you got that on Megadrive? No. Ooh. I know. Is the manual in there? Yes. Yes. Might be a good one to get. Yeah, I think so. Definitely. I wouldn't let that go. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. I'm still looking for Power Rangers. Yeah. But it never comes up. I've got that. I've got that. So is it just like desirable got or that. just one of those harder power versions to come um, up? It's not. Yeah, it doesn't come up that often, but yeah. I love Power Rangers. So. I know. Taz in Escape 
for Maz. Alright, so just looking through some parts. Uh, you never know, there might be something in here that I've been looking for. Like the box here, yeah, I want, but there's a box version down there on the so so tempting to sort of grab some of these games that I've been wanting for so long. title that would end up being $25 I think that's really good um, one that I didn't really get to talk to retro gamer guy about yet because he was just up at the counter um, is the copies of disruptor that they have um, that Simon recommended so I think maybe we put them one of them as them aside and work out which one which version we want um, it's definitely one micro machines uh, speed freaks is actually a pretty fun little game Oh, yes. Do we even have this box? Just the disc. Oh, that's so tempting, isn't it? We only have the disc, isn't it? All right, I'll make, make a little pile. I'm sure Eddie will look after us today. Die Hard Trilogy, anyone? I still got my original copy. Seeking. Hmm. In world. Now, I did go through the um, PS2 games, but I don't really think there was anything I was really, really after today. I can never say it properly. It's actually complete too. Do you have that version? I think I do. Yeah, we might put that in the pile. So I'm gonna go and maybe work out what we're gonna do with this lot of stuff. And also have a look at a close up of those games to show you guys. enjoyed having a look at Eddie's retro store 
And again, Eddie, thank you very much for letting us come down to Green Slopes and film in the store and obviously pick up some games, which we're going to go over quickly now. Uh, but uh, the store's actually been open as I film this. Uh, it would have been open for a couple of weeks, maybe the start of the third week. Um, and it's really exciting to have a retro game store and a dedicated store like Eddie's um, here in Brisbane. So uh, definitely check it out. All the details for that location are in the description. Now I wanted to quickly go through all of the games that we picked up. Now uh, we did end up spending $125 actually spent 90 went to walk out the door and then picked up another two games um, and Eddie was happy to do a deal a bundle deal on it so let's go through them and we'll just work out the average price at the end uh, so on the way out the door retro gamer guy wanted to pick up Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker he didn't actually have this version on the PSP so that was one of his pickups uh, on film, you would have seen that I ended up uh, picking up Leisure Suit, I can never say that word, uh, Suit Larry. Um, yeah, it looks interesting, so I've got a few of those games now and they're always a bit of fun. Uh, then we wanted to grab a couple of PS1 games. Uh, one is the Extreme 2, which is one really cool uh, and fun sports game. So that was a really good score, very happy to have that one in the collection now. Another one, uh, Disruptor. Now this game, I didn't play it as a child. I didn't have it. Um, it does have two different versions um, of the cover. Uh, really happy this was actually in the store in excellent condition. Uh, I'll just clean up the case, obviously. Just take this old one off, this old one, uh, old sticker. But yeah, thank you very much, Eddie, for having this. And also thank you, Simon, the PSX Collector, for covering this game in another video of yours. Um, yeah, because you loved it so much, we had to get a copy of it and uh, check it out. Then uh, we grabbed Ariel the Little Mermaid on the Sega Mega Drive. Um, Retro Gamer Guy always asks me, do I have any games uh, for Ariel? And uh, the, question, the answer is actually always no. Uh, so I'm really happy that I finally was able to add this to the collection and I got a really good deal on that. On the way out the door, um, I did film myself um, looking at this game actually, Taz in Escape from Mars. I wasn't actually going to get it, um, but then on the way out, uh, Richard Grammar Guy wanted the piece, uh, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker and I thought I wasn't going to leave it. So it looks really cool and I love Looney Tunes games so I'm definitely going to enjoy that. And lucky last, uh, a boxed version of Trojan, which is a Capcom game. This is for the NES. Uh, I am I actually did have to check this out on YouTube first. I didn't know of this game until a couple of days before when I was in Sydney and they had the cartridge at Cash Converters for $29. Um, this was boxed and Eddie had the price of $35 on it. It is a little bit rough around the edges, but you know, for a boxed NES game, I'm very happy to pay that price, especially in Australia, um, because yeah, they're really hard to come by. But I'm very happy with that pickup. Um, so let me know if you've played Trojan, and let me know if you've played any of these other games. Um, really, really happy with it. So as I said, it, we ended up spending 125, um, which works out at like just under $18 per game, um, and I think that's a really good deal. Um, so thank you very much, Eddie. We'll be back to support your store um, as much as we can, and whenever we go on game hunts, we'll make sure we loop around and finish off there. But again, thank you everyone for watching this video. Take care, and I'll talk to you next time.